Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Zakia Ringgold, and tonight we have a very, very special treat. A lot of you have been hitting me up in my inbox. We did a broadcast last night, and you all are wondering, how do we take care of these hands? So if you have never been here with me before, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Zakia Ringgold of LiveSoapSchool.com. A special, special shout out to our folks over at hashtag Baraka Clan. Baraka Shea Butter is where we get all of our handmade shea butter directly from the women in Ghana who make it. And so I promised you all last night, and I will be giving out some golden soap bubbles on this broadcast tonight. Don't know what those golden soap bubbles are worth just yet. Um, but there is something that is the most effective thing that you can do for your hands in terms of trying to prevent any germs or bacteria or microbes on there. We talked about it last night, but some of you said, no, Zakia, sometimes I'm not near soap and water, so I need another solution. So tonight, we're going to show you how to make your very own hand cleanser. Well, hello there, Debbie. Thank you for checking in. I'm not sure if you were here last night. Asina, hello there. Laura, checking in from yesterday. All part of Soap Nation. So happy to see all of you here. Store sent aloe vera, but alcohol out. I know. So that is another reason why we are doing this broadcast. Obviously, there is a whole lot of interest in it because we're up to 75 folks, and I don't know how two minutes. We have been on. Deb, hello there. Very good to see you. Thank you for the hand clap. So this is going to be an interesting broadcast. There's going to be a little bit extra in the beginning because as Dryer Buzz has said right here, let me bring your comments right here. I noticed yesterday that your comments were like cutting my head off. So I'm gonna put your comments right here. You're finding that these stores are completely sold out. You can't get alcohol. You can't get aloe vera, you can't get wet wipes, you can't get whatever it is that you need in order to make this. So what we're going to do is show you just some of the basics. And I have also taken this recipe, recipe directly from the World Health Organization. There's a lot of misinformation going on about what you can use to make your own um, hand sanitizer. If you guys know me, I am a rule follower. So when it comes to what we are allowed to say about our products or what we're not allowed to say about our products, when you say that you are making a hand sanitizer, that is considered an over-the-counter drug, which I do not have FDA approval in my house in order to make an over-the-counter drug. This comes from the World Health Organization, and this is what they typically will teach people how to do if they have if they have to practice hand hygiene but they can't get to soap and water so just as a reminder from last night the most effective thing the most effective thing that you can do to protect your hands does anybody know what the answer to that question is number one don't dig up your nose don't dig in your eyes and all of that other stuff don't do that but the most effective thing you can use is good old soap and water. Handmade soap and water, well, you can't have handmade water, but handmade soap is the best thing that you can use for your hands because that is what's going to clean all of the dirt and debris off. Hand sanitizer, if you want to use that, is something that you use if you don't have access to running water and you don't have access to a bar of soap. And if you have some really, really strong debris on your hand, like some dirt, some grime, hand sanitizer is not going to clean that off. So you're going to want to use soap and water. So let's see, we have Jan checking in from Australia. Good day, mate, how are you? Hello, Soap Lady Z, we appreciate you and your expertise advice. I am so happy to be doing it. It doesn't have to be antibacterial, correct. Um, the properties of what we're going to make, they have some antibacterial properties in there, but we're using this to clean our hands and so that we don't need water. Um, but you want to get to the point where you're using some water. So you're out and about, you touch this handle, 
You don't really know what was on there. You might have just put your code in um, at the ATM or at the checkout line where you got to put in your code whenever you're putting using your Met card. And you've just touched a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know about you, but I have become very cognizant of every single thing that I touch. And so now um, you're not necessarily near a sink. You want to be able to kind of just rub it in. Um, and here we go, guys. I'm going to... You guys ready to come over to the soap cam? Here is our special ingredient that we will be adding tonight. Some of you said, I can't get aloe vera gel. They're completely sold out. So I'm going to show you how to make your very own aloe vera gel from what nature intended. That's the actual plant. I can't make alcohol. There's a lot of things I can do in this world, but I can't make alcohol, right? So. If you want to figure out how to make your very own aloe vera gel, this is the broadcast for you. And then we're going to follow a very simple recipe, a very simple recipe, guys, for you to be able to make 10 ounces, which will be five bottles, this size of your very own hand sanitizer, hand cleanser, because we can't call it a sanitizer. All right, so I'm going to bring you guys over. You guys ready for the soap cam? Tonight's special guest, as Jimmy's has said, hold on, I'll tell you right now, happens to be aloe. Aloe, aloe, aloe. I went and got a whole box of it. I had 12 leaves. My mom said, hey, can I have some of that? Hello, girl. I've been watching your business. So proud of you. You've come a long way. Hashtag beautiful soap. Thank you. Deb, so appreciate this. My pleasure. Aloe, Zakia. Oh, I, I see what you did there, Jimmy. Hello to you too, my friend. Hello to you too. That's for all of you who didn't pick up what we were putting down. That's just what happened. So let's bring you over so I can show you what we've done already. And I'll talk about all the ingredients that we have on the table. So you guys ready? Put in a hashtag soap cam. Got to put in soap cam because I can't, I can't switch you over unless I see soap cam in the comments. You guys are like, come on already. We want to see how we make this stuff. We ain't got all day. We got Corona going on outside. I remember somebody at my job actually said, I thought coronavirus was that thing I got after drinking too many Coronas. Okay, we got a soap cam. I know there's a delay. So let's go ahead and switch it over, shall we? Yes, we shall. And I'll put my little picture right there. Hey, everybody, so you can still see me. Hey, Deb Nelson, I'm seeing them come up. There's a little bit of a delay, but all of you for participating on YouTube, on Periscope. Afton, how are you? Very good to see you, my friend. Mignon, I think I said that correct. Deb wants to see the soap cam. Anthony wants to see the soap cam. And Sally is saying, hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, so we got that. Okay, so before this broadcast, I already made some of my own aloe and I want to show you because we're kind of doing it a little bit backwards. You love all of your hand soap. I am so glad to hear that. LV Buggy, how you doing? Get them kids some of this hand sanitizer. We're about to make it, or oh, sorry, hand cleanser, hand cleanser. Um, all right, so let's start. Number one, you want to practice good hand hygiene. Whenever you are making any products, Right? So the first thing we're going to do is don our gloves. Good night, Lisa. How are you? So we're going to don our gloves because we don't want all of our little microbes getting into the product at the start because then it's just going to be sucking. We don't need it to be sucking, right? Okay. So we have some ingredients here and I'm going to show you what we did. You can't see the aloe there. Darn it. I'll fix it for you in a second. Now, this is what we have already blended. But as you can see, there are some small particles in there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is strain that out. So I have a strainer here, and we're going to just pour the aloe right in there and let it kind of go through because we only want the liquid part. We don't want any of the large chunks. We only want the liquid portion of the aloe. So I got to kind of like encourage, it's so slimy. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me bring it over. It's so slimy. But you can see, put it right there. 
You see how it's slowly pouring. Oh my gosh. Um, hey Brenda, Sherelle, Milligan. Hi guys. To make wipes, use some high bleach and water. Put in a spray bottle and spray for it. To... Yeah, spray always works. Spray is always great. So let me try and get as much of this in as possible. We don't need a whole lot actually for the recipe. We only need 0.5 ounces, which this will definitely be plenty of. But let's show you how we actually got to the point of going from the plant to the actual aloe. You guys want to see that part? That's, that's probably a little more interesting. All right. So in order to cut up your aloe, it comes and it's like some prickly sides right there on that side as well. And then at the bottom. So the very first thing that you want to do is get yourself a sharp knife and you're going to cut it straight down. And you'll probably be able to see right on the inside that is the aloe that we're after that is the aloe that we're after but we don't use that part I'm gonna take off our sticker because we don't want our sticker to be a hindrance you know what's missing guys my bag on spoon Nyla she's probably asleep hold on I'll mute you guys so I can yell for Paige I need a spoon. Can you come get it? That's okay. Just for this part. I just need a spoon. So now what we're going to do, we've already cut off the bottom. Now we need to cut off this prickly side here. So you can have it straight down. And with a pretty steady hand, what you want to do is go right along the side. And you just want to cut that off. Yeah, I'm going to cut that out in one second. But I need a spoon. Can you get a spoon for me? And I'm going to cut that bottom piece off. We don't need that part. And now we're going to split to this side here. Um, hey, DJ, Jessica is asking, what did she miss? Well, we're making our own hand cleanser tonight. And we're also showing you all how to make your own aloe vera gel. Because as you're going into the stores you're finding that half of the stuff that you would like to get for first aid and skincare is not necessarily available. But this is also a very good time for you all to learn how to make your own stuff at home. I need a spoon, Paige. Can you hear me? Hello? Paige, huh? I need a spoon. She's just looking at me like, what are you talking about, Mom? What are you talking about? All right, so now what we want to do is we want to cut these into about four inch squares and it does get very very slimy guys very slimy a metal spoon no I just need a spoon look in the drawer no I need a spoon yeah I'll use forky that's fine a metal spoon would be better though all right so after we do that what we want to do is we pick this up. Can you guys see this okay? It looks like we froze for a second, but I think we're okay. So this is the inside of, thank you very much. This is the inside of the aloe vera. We have to cut off this skin so that we can then scrape off the aloe that's on the inside. All right, so now what we're going to do is just put it right there. You definitely don't want to cut this way. If my girl Mish was seeing me right now, she would say, Zakaya. You have to cut against the grain of the knife. Ew. I know, it's so slimy. It looks so satisfying watching it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks so satisfying watching it, how you peel it. Yeah. Mom, you didn't do a prank with this. Like, if one of your friends did a prank with you, you can do another prank. So when they give you something, you can go to the bathroom and pick one of the other royal pins. Scoop it out and then spread it on your hand, and then you go back in class and it's already on your hand. You can see it on it and, and make then... it look like that's on there. Got yeah, it. very true. But I gotta yeah. finish this, okay? All right. Um, some people are saying yes, yes, yes. Wow, it's clear. I've ever seen. 
And this is the benefit of making your own aloe vera gel at home. And that is, there's no additives. The same thing that I'm telling you guys with the soap. There's no additives. You are getting it directly from the plant. So you know that it's 100% pure. And there's a way that you can actually store it away so you don't waste any of it by putting it in the freezer. So we've gotten that part off. Paige refuses to find me a metal spoon. So what we do is we then take a spoon. And hopefully, let me get you guys in frame. Right there. You take yourself a spoon and then what happens is it just starts to come off. Well, you're scraping it off, actually. Paige, I really would like a metal spoon. That would be real. Look in the drawer. All right. No, but the drawer's small. It doesn't matter. That's what I need, a small one. Oh, yeah. All right, so look. Now you guys will be able to see. When we pull that off, that's how it looks. Right there. And then we're just putting it in here because then what we're going to do is you don't do that <laughs> she's doing her own prank um what we're going to do is use our stick blender to blend it up into a nice consistency that we can actually pour i'll be right back much love it is aloe very correct thank you metal makes it a whole lot easier all right so what we do is we just kind of scrape 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 and this is also why you want to have gloves on. You can kind of see how it's appearing right in my hand. The problem of hiring that younger generation, right? They just do what they want. Yeah. All right. It feels so satisfying. So satisfying. Okay, oh, you're very... five. Talk about satisfying. Yeah, what that's... do you know about satisfying? Satisfying means it was awesome. Awesome. And your hands are going to feel really good, too. She's playing with that end piece that we cut off. All right. So that's all you need to do. And everybody's saying, hello, everyone. What is the base? This whole base is all aloe vera. So when I go to um, blend it up, it's going to get those air bubbles at the top. And then we have already strained all Mom, this is here. is this a video or not? It is, Paige. It is. Don't do that, please. You have no pants on. Okay, so this here is what we get when we end up straining it. So what you're seeing in here is a result of me using the stick blender on there. So I'm going to cut one more, and then I'm going to show you how we stick blend it so that we can get it nice and smooth. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see. But this is all you need to do. It does take a little bit of time. Um, you can just use your own judgment, right, on like how much you need. But one will typically give you about two cups of aloe vera gel. So one aloe plant or one aloe leaf will give you two cups of the gel. So I don't know if you guys can see. Like that is just love, love, love on the skin right there. Looking good on YouTube. Thank you so very much. And now we're going to do the same thing in terms of scraping. Just to get it off. And again, this is why you don't want to do it with dirty hands. Have your gloves on. And now we'll just scrape. Oh, you guys can't see it. Say, Zakia, it's out of frame. So you just scrape it off the back of the leaf. Like that. And like that, you just keep scraping. How long does it last or does preservative need to be used? Good question. I'll get to that in one second. Um, thank you for running the bases, you for sight. This is going to last because we're only using a very, very small amount. The recipe that we pulled is from the World Health Organization, and that's why we're also using peroxide because that's what's going to kill any bacteria or spores but we're using such a very small amount of this. If you're not going to use all of the aloe vera gel, I'm going to show you how you can just use some ice cube trays and freeze them. And they will last for over a year in the freezer. And then you can just pull it out as you need it. 
Thank you so much for this scope. You are very welcome. All right. I will tell you guys, the first time I did this, I did it with my bare hands. They were so soft after the fact. So soft. But this is what aloe does, guys. It's very runny. And again, the thing about getting aloe vera gel from the stores is they often will put additional chemicals in it. But Sarah asked a really good question about a preservative. Do you need a preservative for this? Because um, it can be a bacteria. It can be, uh, it can bore bacteria. Jimmy, while it's clear, I've, oh, sorry, you said that a while ago. Okay, what are you guys saying? And last but not least, Facebook. Um, check your daughter level. Or she's a little low. She's not supposed to be on here. You for sight. She's not supposed to be on here. Um, true body. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our stick blender. Hey there, Ollie. We're going to grab our stick blender because now what we need to do is we need to crush all of that aloe so that it's a very nice, smooth, consistency. So I'm going to put my stick blender inside. I hate these new stick blenders. I don't know who was in the product development department of this particular company, but they put the stupid lock on the top. And when we're soap makers, we typically like to use one hand. This requires two. So I just have to press this down. And then that is going to smooth out the aloe. And that's what causes that bubble that you guys are seeing. And it breaks up any of the chunks. still have some chunks I didn't completely do it but you would do that until it's as smooth as you can get it it probably takes about three or four minutes but this broadcast will be forever if I continue to do this part but as you can see this is the result of one and a half aloe plants let me show you how much we've gotten in this bowl so far And then we'll move on to the actual recipe so you guys can make your own hand cleanser at home. I'm going to take this bottom piece off so it doesn't fall. So this is about, can you see? Where did you get, the World Health Organization has this recipe on the website. I will add it to the description of the video. So this is telling me, here you guys can see it better that way. That is how much aloe vera gel that we have been able to get, which is about a thousand milliliters or actually one, that can't be one liter. It's about four cups, 32 ounces of aloe vera gel from two. Now you can get aloe vera plants at your local natural whatever, or even your supermarket and make your own aloe vera gel. Now, we still have these pieces to cut up, but we don't have all day to do this recipe. And we want to actually get to the hand cleanser, which is very important. So if you have... Mom, is there anything else you need? Um, I need a trash bag so I can clear this part of the table. No, I meant it for the next one. No, a trash bag. Uh, yeah, no? never mind. Never mind, you don't want to help that. There's some, is there something that you would prefer to get me right now? Yeah, I want it to be a prank. Oh, you can do it when I finish making this. Okay. So welcome if you guys are just joining. Let's go over what this recipe is. Oh. So first of all, we are going to be using 91% isopropyl alcohol. And this is the primary ingredient that we will be using for this particular recipe. Then we are also going to be using some hydrogen peroxide. The peroxide is what is going to kill any bacterial spores that may occur in the recipe from using the glycerin and the aloe vera gel. So I just mentioned glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant. It's also going to be used for its skincare properties in our 
cleanser. And then finally, you guys saw me mix up the aloe vera gel. I don't want any of those frothy bubbles or anything in there. So before we started, we had strained out some of the aloe vera from Walmart. Um, I got this from Rite Aid, Walmart, wherever. Grand Equate. Could, is that where it's from? Cool beans. All right. So with these four simple ingredients, you can make your very own hand cleanser. So I'm going to grab this scale and I'm going to tell you all the recipe right now. You can also get it right off of the World Health Organization's website. However, I feel like I have to say it. No matter what hand sanitizer you have, you should still be using soap and water to wash your hands. That is the most effective thing you can use. And I bought it. <laughs> That is the most effective thing that you can use for cleaning your hands. When you don't have that available, then you will use hand sanitizer until you can get to a sink with water. All right, so let's start with this recipe. The first thing we're going to do is use... Don't say that's our, that the first ingredient is our secret ingredient. So well, we're telling them the recipe, so it can't be a secret. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying, though. All right, okay. no, um, Crystal, we're not going to add any essential oils because essential oils and water don't particularly mix. So if like I- Like how we did water and oil, they don't mix, they stay apart. Exactly. So because they don't mix and I don't have an emulsifier that I want to use with this, I'm not using any essential oils whatsoever. All right, so the first thing that we're going to use is eight ounces of the alcohol. So let's go ahead and pour that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys ain't tell me we were halfway off screen. Sorry. We're at 7.1. 7.2, We're a little bit over at 8.1, but that's all right. Next, we're going to use one ounce of the... Hydrogen peroxide. Not yet, Paige. Oh, God. Okay, I went over a little bit. Thank you. You're very welcome, guys. Very, very welcome. So we used one ounce of the peroxide, and now we're going to use half an ounce. I'm going to just tear my scale out half an ounce of the aloe vera, and that's just so this isn't so drying to the skin. You know when you put alcohol on the skin, it can be very drying. So this glycerin is going to give it a little bit of body to the hand cleanser, and then also it's going to give some conditioning to the skin as well. So we're going to do 0.5 ounces of the glycerin. Here we go. And look who doesn't have gloves on. This will be for family use, right? Okay. And then we'll do... And people don't try it at home. They have to try. We want them to try it at home. Yeah, but don't be dangerous because of people. Well, it's not dangerous. We're living day. And then 0.5 ounces of the aloe vera gel. Oh, five seconds to dry, Karen. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. And you just know what, friend? You are the winner. And type, and type, and type in phone. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, up, up. Mix it. Well, you're you're going to make the next batch. And you just mix it well. And now I do have a little funnel. I hope I have that little funnel right here. There we go. I have a little funnel that I'm going to use to be able to pour this right into the bottle. So we want to make sure that everything is very well incorporated. Well, when I see it doesn't separate, I assume it's all mixed. Well, when you see the bubble, then you don't separate. Is that what I mean? Can you use aloe vera juice? Um, oh, and you, if it's 100% pure, Sylvia. If you know that there are no additives in it, you could, but based on the recipe from the World Health Organization, I wouldn't. It's specifically called out gel. Are you going to add this into there? No, that was a test from our liquid soap last night. 
It needs to be used for that. Mom, I heard it too. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to now pour this into our individual containers. Oh, I, today we today I taught my class how to make soap too. You did? Mm -hmm. Did they love it? Not all of them, because some of the boys, all the boys are like. And that's our first one. And then we're going to put a cap on it so it does not spill. And then, as you can see, can't find gel anywhere. Guess everybody making their own. Juice has water added. Gel does not. There you go. No, no, no. We have to wait until we got it all in. All right. And now let's do the next one. And now you have something, if you can't get your own or you can't buy it in the store, this is something that you can keep in your bag and have with you so that you can clean it yourself. When are you ever going to put the olive oil? We don't need olive oil for this recipe. Then why would you get the... That's Where is the olive oil? Said. That's aloe vera. Oh, you get it then. It's this one. I already used it. Juice was, oh, that's the same thing, Sarah. All right, and so now let's finish pouring these. Now, if I did my measurements correctly, we should have the exact amount for all five bottles. And if you want it thicker, you can adjust the, it seems, it is running, and I was about to go and say that. If you adjust, here, let me come this way. If, look at Paige, she's upset now. <laughs> if you adjust the um, amount of aloe vera gel and decrease the amount of alcohol that you have in here, you do run the potential um, to actually lower the effectiveness of it because you're diluting the alcohol. So if you want it to be thicker than this, you would just, increase so i only did 0.5 ounces of the aloe vera gel because i didn't want it to be so drying but if you want it to be thicker what you could do is you could replace that glycerin amount that i used of the 0.5 ounces with a whole ounce of the aloe vera i wouldn't go above um like maybe 1.5 ounces because then you're getting to a lower percentage of alcohol and you really want that alcohol in there and then what you do is you just put it on your hands and you rub it in. Whenever you are using hand sanitizer or hand cleanser, guys, you never... Always rub... Oh, it feels nice. Always rub between your fingers. Correct. You want to rub between all of your fingers. All hey, for show. of your fingers. And just like that, you got some semi-clean hands. So again, the rest of, let me finish filling these. Um, do you guys have any questions? Did I miss anything um, at all? And if not, then this should be pretty interesting. But if you can't find, one thing I wanted to say on this broadcast is don't fret. Um, what does the glycerin do again? The glycerin adds some moisture content so it's not so drying to the skin. It's an emollient. Um, and so that's the main benefit of having the glycerin in the recipe. Um, for every ingredient, for every, um, no, thank you so much, cool. Everything that you can buy in the store, you can make in your home, especially if it's wholesome. Um, will you leave this? Yeah, I always leave my scopes up psychic. What percentage of alcohol did you use? I use 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can get it as high as I think 99%. Some people were talking about using Everclear and all of that. Um, questions are on Periscope. I came in late, but your hand sanitizer, your hand sanitizers come in different scents. I don't scent these. I don't scent them. Um, the thing about the purpose of any hand cleanser is to clean your hands. Um, I do make a hand lotion that I can always apply later if I want a smell 
The thing that I want is clean hands, guys. That is the most important part of all of this. And aside from using the hand sanitizer, wash your hands with soap and water. Um, all right, so let me scroll up and see what questions I had. Wow, there's a lot. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord, Paige. Um, okay, thank you for the instruction. Can you also use aloe vera juice? I use the plant. Can't find gel anywhere. Guess everybody's making their own. Yeah. Yes. Um, juice has the... Thank you for that, Sarah. The best. Um, where did you buy the little jars? I brought the little jars from a company called SKS Bottling. Um, vodka. Some people have um, talked about using vodka. You could use a grain alcohol. Um, looks like my picture is a little bit delayed. They don't want us to get all this good information. Um, you could use a grain alcohol. It's really the percentage of alcohol that is in there. So you just want to be sure that it's above that 60%. You need above 60%. And what we were talking about last night was in terms of um, people who have, typically in the grocery stores, there's a 70% alcohol that you can buy. The problem with that is then people want to make a thicker consistency. They don't want it runny, so they're going to add more gels to it or more glycerin to it. And the more that you dilute it with those additional ingredients, you're bringing down, bringing down the percentage of alcohol. So by starting with a 90% alcohol concentration, you have a better chance of being able to add a few more of those additives. If you have a 70% alcohol, you have like a 10% wiggle room for that um, hand cleanser to still be effective. All right. What does the glycerin do? It's just an emollient to help soften the skin and not be so drying. Um, I will leave the scope up. What percentage of the alcohol did you use? So the alcohol, we put in eight ounces. So it was pretty much an eight to one to one ratio in terms of eight ounces of the alcohol, one ounce of the peroxide, point five ounces of the glycerin and 0.5 ounces of the aloe vera. If you are not already following me on live soap school, you I are will right now. <laughs> Paige says do it right now. But if you're not following me on live I'm soap right on live soap school um, on Facebook or on YouTube, under this video I'm going to come back. I'll put the link to the World Health Organization so you'll be able to follow the recipe and get some additional information. I came in late. Well, welcome. Um, how nice of you to teach that rather than take advantage of people's fears. So much price gouging. You ain't never lie, Rebecca. That is Walmart, which is pretty cool. Coronavirus, I mean. Makes sense. So adding more aloe vera to make it thicker doesn't take away from the antibacterial properties. And that's what we were just talking about in terms of it's, it depends on what your starting amount um, or your starting concentration of isopropyl alcohol is. So if you're starting at 70%, you don't have much wiggle room because it needs to be at least 60% concentrated with alcohol in order for that to do it, for, in order for it to be effective. What other questions do we have? Psychic Brian. Washing hands, eating right, and getting your rest with I some sleeping. I think you're very psychic I because I think that's correct. One. No, it's okay. If, that's okay. Can sodium lactate be substituted for glycerin? I am not sure, Sarah. Everyone. What are the properties you're looking for with that sodium lactate? The only reason I'm adding the glycerin in here is just for it to not be so dry. You can see my hands. They're not dry. At all, you know how sometimes you get like that little ash mark after using hand sanitizer? Some, some people, I get it. Some people get it, um, but I don't have that. And the glycerin and the combination of the aloe vera um, gel is what caused that. They had a crap load boxed up and ready to sell. Last night, I watched a video of Bootleg Factory in Italy creating bunk, dirty sanitizers. Oh, Lord. Yes, you can definitely use Honeypot. 
SKS bottles. You got it. Um, ain't you supposed to be working, boo boo? Very good point. Just answered my question. Look at that. I'm a psychic. I knew what you were going to ask. I knew it. I know that's right, Paige. Um, can't find alcohol in California. Then do it right now. Hi from where is I, or like Oz Oz um, Moonshine. There isn't any rubbing alcohol anywhere around here. Do you know if the aloe vera gel will work? I've seen it at Sprouts. If it's a 100% aloe vera gel, the problem with a lot of the things that are in the stores right now is they're not 100%. They add so many additional additives and chemicals to them. So the other thing is, oh, Jessica is saying, how much are you going to sell it for? These will probably go for about $4. $4. Um, but I'm going to give these out to my neighbors because they know I make soap. They're asking like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So I'm going to hand these out to my neighbors. I'm going to give some out to my coworkers and I'll put whatever I have left on the website. And then of course, Paige's teachers. Got to keep the teachers clean, right? Huh? I can't find toilet paper. Can't even find the aloe plant. Mom. Lord, help us. Mom, do you know how to make toilet paper? No, I don't know how to make toilet paper. I do. Um, get the aloe leaf from Walmart. So that's what I wanted to share with you all tonight. The other part that I wanted to make sure, because we talked about the aloe vera plant, how do you keep it fresh? You're not going to use all of this aloe vera gel in one sitting. After you strain it, you completely strain it. Um, and so that way you don't get any of the pulp residue all going on there. Glycerin instead of aloe vera, you could do 100% glycerin, just one ounce. Um, can you buy a bigger bottle? I, the, well, these are the only bottles that I brought. I'm sure you could, but these are the ones I have. So what you want to do after you strain it, like you get into a container like this. I could probably strain it, but we'll be here for a long time. You want to put them in ice cube containers and freeze them. After you freeze them, you can just keep them in your freezer. And then when you need the aloe vera, maybe you have a burn. Maybe you have a cut. Maybe you just want to give yourself a nice little facial. You can just take out the one ice cube and use that aloe vera. Or if you're making your own hand cleanser, take out what you need and keep it moving. All right. So thank you so very much, everybody, for being here. We absolutely, positively love having you. And um, Roslyn is saying good evening. And Paige, I'm going to let you take it away. I'll let you tell them what you need to tell them. Come on. Let's come on up. Hey. And you got to show them our finished hand sanitizer. Say, what do we want them to do? Wash their hands and always make sure you rub between your fingers. Rub between your fingers. And. And then also, if you sing the happy birthday song twice while you're washing your hands, that is plenty of time to make sure you're getting all the germs and the bacteria. Brad, is, Brad you, you said the best comment all night and what we've been trying to tell everyone. Hand sanitizer is fantastic when you are out and about and you cannot access water. However, the best thing, the best defense, and cleaning your hands is good old soap and water. And you want to make sure you're washing your hands for at least 20 to 30 seconds to make sure you give that dirt a chance to attach to the soap and rinse off with the water. Soap Nation, girl! Theo, where in the world have you been? So I am Zakia Ringgold. Of I am and this Paige Ringgold. No, that is not your name. <laughs> and this is Paige of LiveSoapSchool.com. For everyone that has watched on the hashtag Baraka Shea Butter page, everyone who is a part of Soap Nation. Our YouTube channel. We're back in new, brand new merch. Yeah, Paige wants some merch. Al is asking for the ingredients one more time. Absolutely. The ingredients are eight ounces of alcohol if you can get a 91 percent isopropyl alcohol you're in great shape after that you want one ounce 
of hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide is what, what's going to kill off any bacteria that may end up inside of this because you're adding the glycerin and the aloe vera. For the glycerin, you're going to use half an ounce, so 0.5 ounces of the glycerin, and then 0.5 ounces of the aloe vera gel. And then whatever aloe vera gel that you have cut up and you haven't gotten a chance to use, freeze it. And Jessica said her middle name is Paige. I'm Zakia. This has been a fantastic broadcast. I am Paige. And that is Paige. And I call myself Soap Lady Z to the rescue. I don't have yes, on my cake. Got on my apron. Yes. Have a great night and um, Mom, stay wait. safe, guys. Mom, don't wait. panic. Just stay safe. Mom, Well, we can't right now. The broadcast is a little too long. No wonder it's sold out. That would be it. Bye, guys.